Okay, the two solution case. Here's what's going to happen here. I don't know whether it's this triangle like this or like this. This 12 could go like that or it could go backwards like that. This angle here is 20.5, so I don't know, and this side's 31. So first off, let's just look at what we do know. Let's take sine. First off, I want to find B. All right, so what I'm going to do is this here. Uh, I'm going to take the, because I want angle B, I'm going to put sine B on top. So I'm going to have that 20.5, sine 20.5 over 12 equals, I don't know the sine of this B1 divided by 31. And here's what happens. I end up getting 0.3502 over 12 times 31. And then I do second sine of that 0 0.9047 and I get 64.8. So I know B1 is 64.8. So let's go ahead and do um, and find C1, which would be that 180 minus the 64.8 minus 20.5, right? To find the third angle, which is 94.7. And then I can find side C by doing the 94 point C1 over 94.7 over 12 over the sine of 20.5. Going to the law of sine. So I'm going to put the letter on top because I want the letter answer this time. And basically, those are my numbers. Plug them in and you get 34.15. So C1 is 34 if option one exists. Now what happens is this, okay? On the second one, notice I found B1 is 64.8. And if you go to your calculators and you do sine of 64.8, you get 0 0.9047. But remember, that gave me an acute angle. In this one here, B1 is right here, and it, this is B2, it would be obtuse. So what I need to do is this. Take 180 and minus 64.8, and that tells me 115.2. If you go to your calculator and do sine of 115.2, guess what you're going to get? 0 0.9047. Because remember, the calculator is not smart enough to tell you whether it's the acute angle or the obtuse angle when either one of those could exist. And if B2 is 115.2, then in angle A is 20.5, you can find C2 by subtracting those two numbers, which is 44.3. And now all I've got to do is go um, find, I can find like a side C2 by doing this right here. Be that 12 over sine 20.5 equals C2 over that. Plug in the numbers and you get 23.93, all right? The big thing right there very simply, don't forget, is that if you're given a side-side angle and um, this A is smaller than the B, it's possible to have two possible answers. And the way you get it is you do the first one normally, no big deal, you'll probably do it all the time, it's just you won't realize there's a second one. And the way you get the second one is just taking the B ant, that, that angle you found right there, 64.8 and minusing it from 180 because remember the sine of 115.2 and the sine of 64.8 both are 0.9047. That's why there's two possible answers for this.